Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Shannon Van Sant. A day after the release of a redacted version of the Mueller report, some key congressional Democrats say they want to see the unredacted version. NPR's Brian Naylor reports they're issuing a subpoena to the Department of Justice. The chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, New York Democrat Gerald Nadler, says his committee needs and is entitled to the full version of the Mueller report and the underlying evidence relating to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. In a statement, Nadler says he's open to working with the department to reach a reasonable accommodation for access to the materials, but won't accept any proposal, which leaves most of Congress in the dark. Before he released the Mueller report Thursday, Attorney General William Barr said he would make available to bipartisan leaders a version of the report with most of the redactions removed except for grand jury information. Nadler set a May 1st deadline for complying with the subpoena. Brian Naylor, NPR News, Washington. A federal judge in Michigan clears the way for residents of Flint to sue the Environmental Protection Agency for failing to notify citizens that the city's water could be tainted with lead. As WDET's Quinn Kleinfelter reports, Flint's water became contaminated after the city began using its river for drinking water in 2014. A group of Flint residents sued the EPA for allegedly mishandling the crisis that erupted after the city began using the Flint River without properly treating the water system's pipes. Flint switched to using water from a different source about a year and a half later, but by then the city's water was showing unusually high levels of lead. The lawsuit was filed in 2017. The federal government wanted the suit dismissed, arguing it was immune from liability. But in a scathing opinion, U.S. District Judge Linda Parker disagrees. Parker writes that EPA knew the Flint River was highly corrosive and was well aware that it posed a significant health risk and that state and city officials were not warning residents that their water could be laced with lead. For NPR News, I'm Quinn Kleinfelter in Detroit. People gathered in Oklahoma City this morning to remember those who lost their lives 24 years ago in the bombing of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. Mayor David Holt said this site, now synonymous with an act of domestic terrorism, has become a symbol of resilience. Let this sacred ground remain a special place for as long as this city still stands. Let it remain an impactful place, a place that continues to perpetuate many times more good than all of the evil that was unleashed here 24 years ago today. Hundreds have been arrested in London this week, taking part in protests called the Extinction Rebellion, which have blocked roads and bridges for several days. The group staged a demonstration at Heathrow Airport today, and they are vowing to escalate their campaign if the U.K. government fails to declare a climate and ecological emergency. It's one of many demonstrations <clears throat> held by teens. This is NPR News. A California couple who committed a series of horrific child abuse crimes have been sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. And Pierre's Nathan Rott reports the couple pled guilty to 14 felony charges each, including one count of torture. The crimes made international news last year when law enforcement raided a Southern California home and found 12 malnourished siblings. Two of them had been chained to a bed for weeks. Prosecutors say that their parents, David and Louise Turpin, had abused and neglected their children since the 90s, first in Texas and then in California. The husband and wife cried during the sentencing. Some of their children addressed the courtroom. One of them said that they still have nightmares of the things that happened, but that they still love their parents and have forgiven them for a lot of those things. The judge ruled that the parents will be eligible for parole in 25 years. Nathan Rott, NPR News. Three elite climbers are believed dead after an avalanche in the Canadian Rockies. They were attempting to scale a peak in Banff National Park in the province of Alberta. The trio was sponsored by the North Face Clothing Company, which has identified the men as David Lama and Hans-Jörg Auer from Austria and Jess Ross Kelly from the United States. Authorities say recovery efforts are on hold because of dangerous conditions and avalanches at the scene. An American man and his girlfriend are in hiding after building a sea home off the coast of Thailand. The Thai Navy says the home threatens the country's sovereignty. If found guilty, the couple could face life in prison or the death penalty. I'm Shannon Van Sant, NPR News in Washington. Welcome back to WBHM Digital Broadcasting out of Birmingham, Alabama. The time is five minutes after the hour. Hello, everyone. Welcome back from halftime. This is Paraversal Universe, produced by WBHM Digital Broadcasting out of Birmingham, Alabama. 
I also heard on the Rift Radio Network out of Virginia, WCETFM out of South Carolina, and High Point Radio out of New Jersey. We're your hosts, Kevin and Jennifer Malik, coming to you from the still melting tundra of northern Wisconsin, <laughs> <laughs> here at the North <laughs> Paranormal Resource Center in Rylander. It's almost gone, folks. We've been saying this for like two months. We may actually have a spring this year. Yeah. <laughs> You can always enjoy excellent Fringe Talk Radio for awesome and informative radio shows about the paranormal, supernatural, esoteric, and Fortean topics on this network and affiliate platform websites. Not only our show, but many other good shows about different facets of the unknown and unexplained. Much to listen to and much to enjoy. Stream live on TuneIn, iTunes, or the Paranormal Livestream app, available from Android app and the iTunes store. This segment is brought to you by the Supernatural Magazine, where our articles can be read. All right, back to Paraversal Universe. We are speaking with radio personalities, uh, the Scala Stephen and Angel Strong from the Red Pill Reality Show. And... Uh, we were uh, again talking during break, and uh, we were we were talking about the power and the people, and how significant that is to the equation. So um, let's talk about that a little bit more. Uh, you had some thoughts, Rascala? Well, that? I, I wanted to, to to tell you that. Earlier on, we had kind of brought that up and discussed it briefly, and I had mentioned this word, the system, that we we are involved in a system, and part of this is a very vast, wide, deep system. It goes in many different directions, and part of that is the idea that people are conditioned or programmed in a way where they believe, many people believe, that they have no power. It's We go back to the idea of, well, don't, why bother voting? Your vote doesn't count. The very evidence that your vote counts is the reason that Trump is the president of the United States, because he was able to overcome this corrupted system that is in place, and he would not have been able to do that without the people. So where did that power come from? It came from us, people who voted for Trump, people who supported the idea of having someone other than the same old people who have been running this country give someone else an opportunity to do uh, good for the people, which he is one of the few who has pretty much lived up to what he said he was going to do. He warned these people before he got into office what he was going to do, and he told the people before he went into office what he was going to do, and he did. But the point being is that how did he get there? He got there by enough people voting in order for them to override the corrupt system because it, it, there is a degree of truth in that. Why bother voting because your vote is, doesn't count? Well, it doesn't count when the system, not enough of us, show up to fight the system. Then it, it really doesn't count. But when enough of us come together and show up and unite then we override all of the corruption that they have in place, and we we literally upset their system. They completely freaked out when Trump won. There was no way in God's green earth that this man was ever going to be president in their eyes. Many of them have said that. Many of them have, have made statements to the effect that he will never, ever be president, but Pelosi uh, was one of them who said he will never be president. You can take that to the bank. Well, guess what? Yep. He is he is the president, and your banks are eventually going to fall if he has his way because that's one of the things he's going to do. I'm off track a little bit. Let me get back to the point. The point is he could not have done that without you and me. That's my point. So when we mentioned earlier about do we believe in power of the people, and I said absolutely, there's my evidence right there. If we hadn't shown up in the numbers that we showed up, he would not be the president. We would have someone else as the president, and more than likely World War III, and I'm not exaggerating, World War III would have already started. 
Angel? I can't wait for the indictment. 80,000. Of the left. Yes. I'm yes. waiting. Patient. It's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be a while. You'll, you'll find that with this man, everything is timing. It's, he, 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 and when he finally releases whatever it is that he's done, look at what um, this last little thing that he did. Okay, you guys, you want all these illegal immigrants here. We have been fighting to keep these people out. But since you want them so bad, we're going to send them to you. Look how, you know, who would have thought that? <laughs> Tell me he doesn't have them squirming. It is amazing. His timing is just impeccable. Yes, it's funny. They, the left, all we heard was they believe no path, no path to the White House. But what they won't believe is no evidence of collusion. Yeah. I mean, they're so backwards. Well, well did you hear? Um, they just asked for, all the Republicans asked for the resignation of, who was Adam it? Schiff. Yeah. yeah Schiff. Right. Because he will not drop it. And it's like, okay. Why is he so there anyway? That's right. all he has left. This is all, these are people are grasping at straws. This yeah. is how desperate they have. Can you imagine? Remember I mentioned earlier, there, cause I had a kid that did this to me. I told them no cookies and I turned around and was doing something. I came back a few minutes later and they had their hand in the cookie jar. And when I caught them with their hand in the cookie jar, this guy was really smart. I told him he should be a lawyer when he grows up. He has, I caught him with his hand in the cookie jar. I said, I wasn't going to take one. I just want to see what they felt like. So it's grasping it no matter what. Even when you're caught with your hand in the cookie jar, it's grasping for an answer that would somehow make sense to somebody. <laughs> That's what right. Jeff is doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> that's all they have left. That's all he's banging on the desk. How people how dare these people do this and blah 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 blah. And the guys over on the other side are laughing at him. He's lost all credibility. But this is all he has left. This this is why I say they're desperate. They there's nothing left for them. They were so certain that their buddy was gonna find something that they can nail this president on. And then the reporters will be very quick to, to point out, well, there was over 200. I think it's 200. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at the number, so if I'm incorrect, please understand. I'm guessing. There was over 200 uh, arrests. Well, not a single one of those arrests had anything to do with a direct tie between Russia and America. It was on a whole bunch of other stuff that they kind of cornered these people into, if you want to know the truth. Many of these people were forced into this into this thing. Can you imagine having the power over, Kevin, I'm taking you to court, and I have deep pockets, and you have, let's say, just for example, it's like you own a home, and you you have a couple of things, uh, cars and stuff like that. I take you to court. My pockets are so deep that what you own, I could buy that pocket change to me. So guess what? I can wear you out in court, or you can plead guilty, and I'll say, okay, I'll let, I'll let you go from there. You follow what I'm saying? This is what is happening. Yeah. I, uh, we all follow it. Riscala. Here's my question. Why is everybody so fixated on Russia? I mean, realistically, we all know that Obama said uh, Russia called or they called for Russia back in from the 1980s. You remember the joke that that um, Obama was acting like Russia's not our enemy. All of a sudden, Russia becomes our sworn enemy. Why? Convenience. Isn't it called deflection? Isn't that the term? Yes. When you're yeah. guilty of something, you push it off on the other party? Yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, that's one of the things they do, and that's one of the things they're taught about in, uh, what the heck is that called? The, uh, I can't believe I can't remember this. The, the rules for radicals. How you take mm. what, um, yeah. something is guilty or, or what you're guilty of, and you make it seem like your enemy is guilty of the same mm. thing. And that's exactly yeah, what they're doing. You mirror it. Yeah. There's one thing that I want to talk about that we did discuss bringing up during one of our breaks, and that was the horrifying incident regarding the child being dropped three stories from that balcony in the mall. Yeah, thrown. I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on it. Go ahead, Angel. Well, I think when I was with Rascala on the Red Pill reality show that I misspoke, which I try not to do very often, but I thought he had passed away. I don't know what his condition is, but I'm sure it's critical. The first thing that struck me was it was at a the Mall of America. 
And I thought somebody's playing word games there with that. I think it's significant if you understand what I'm saying. I think it was 